example, in Tyco, their supplier program, they've got health and safety, diversity, ethics, you know, corruption, uh, financial responsibility, legal compliance. Home Depot, you know, uh, forced labor, social issues, age requirement, discrimination, wages, uh, environment, health and safety, uh, fraud prevention, so forth and so on. Duke, you know, environment, health and safety, diversity, uh, performance, win-win, which deals with economics as well. So, and then looking at uh, Walmart, again, energy, waste, safety, uh, look at this human rights issues, community development, they're starting to look at labor issues, so they're starting to acknowledge that these issues are out there. Moreover, Walmart's taking another step and they're saying, supplier, we want you to go to your sub-suppliers and start doing a few things. We want you to begin to, uh, to, to be able to trace where these materials are coming from because there's been big problems with that. And we want you to put in place guidelines, and we want you to do sort of pre-evaluation on quality capacity. So this is a business risk and opportunity uh, venture that these companies are taking. And again, they're taking it around the same circle of issues that we said is now becoming the consensus you know, around sustainability. And I will leave you with this piece, uh, some of the, the, the key elements that we're seeing in the sustainability arena. These are sort of best practices that the companies are undertaking as they go about trying to manage the supply chain for sustainability issues. We've got some sort of structure. Remember our, uh, you know, SOS, so they kind of fall in the same structure. They've got some way of expressing their expectation. You saw that in the survey of 11 of this, those conference board companies, and eight of them had some sort of a code or guideline that laid out expectations for their suppliers. Uh, you've got some sort of evaluation process. Sometimes it's a questionnaire or self-assessment, or growingly it's a third-party audit. More and more are going to that. Uh, and they're trying to collaborate, I might say, around that because you don't want to have 50 different auditors showing up at the same place. And there's some tracking and responsibility. Again, Walmart focusing on traceability, making sure you know where stuff is coming from. There's metrics. Uh, you're doing surveys. Supplier audits and survey items are being reported and closed out, tracking and so forth going on there. And Nike's even gone to the point of doing some sort of a index that kind of rates their suppliers. Training and engagement. What you're beginning to find is that companies are finding that they're going back again over and over to the same facilities and the problems don't seem to be uh, addressed. It's more like whack-a-mole. <laughs> you know, whack-a-mole out there, boom, this thing down, pops up again. So they're beginning to say, wait a minute, we can't just keep going out doing these audits and finding the same issues and over. We have to start getting at the root causes. And so they're trying to drive down the root causes and actually putting in place some training and engagement practices with, uh, with the suppliers. And there's whole different ways of doing that that you see different companies are doing. And they're even taking it for the same, very same reasons. They're going even a step beyond that. They're saying, look, we need to put in place management systems for these guys processes by which they can fix once and for all these issues and not we, see, we don't see the recurrence of them. So management systems are now beginning to creep their way into uh, these programs. You see companies that are already doing that. JC Penney's, you know, they have a great award system. They even, you know, give a big award to the supplier that does the best job around sustainability. You're seeing, you know, again, we have to find incentives. What are we going to give these guys to motivate them to do it? It's not enough to just say we want you to do it because someone said, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I'm big enough. I don't have to do that. And then what you're also finding is a lot of collaboration on the supply chain side. Again, because, you know, why uh, inspect the same place over and over? you got 10 different companies doing the same inspection. We might as well collaborate together and have one auditor go in and check, try to come up with some consistent approach, make sure we're sending a consistent message to the supplier and not getting 10 different messages to these guys, a whole host of reasons to, to, uh, for peer companies to, to collaborate. And you're also beginning to see suppliers' collaboration around other issues. Um, Coca-Cola was working with their bottlers, and their bottlers were working together. They even do a common environmental report. They set common goals together. Uh, and you see this with the beta, working with their, their independent salons. They have a whole Earth, Earth Month that they do where they focus on environmental issues and the like. Government's in there collaborating as well in this uh, EPA Green Supplier Network, which is a great program that they've got where they bring together companies and their suppliers and work at trying to make them more efficient and more environmentally responsible. So, uh, I'm going to just get this last little piece. Uh, this is what you've got in supply chain, and I just wanted to leave you with this one. And we've talked about what sustainability is and what, uh, what we're doing in supply chain. But let me just ask this question of you. What, 
But what do you think a sustainable product is? What are the characteristics of a sustainable product? Yeah. <clears throat> One that produces a, a little if no waste, uh, instead of cradle to cradle, a cradle, uh, cradle to cradle. You yeah. know, it can be reused after, you know, after it's been used by me, I can, the waste can be used by yep. you. And if I make that product in a sweatshop, is that a, a sustainable product? Um, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to say that's a, how many angels on the pin of a needle question. Well, I think it depends on the on the question. Uh, well, I'm just telling you this. Yeah. Here's what here's what the the, uh, the major companies and the and then my uh, conference board study told me. They said, "Yeah, you're right. You know, we what we think about when we think of a sustainable product is one that improves the efficient use of natural and economic resources along the product life cycle." Got that one right. But we say those companies say, not me saying. We also say this. Greater respect and accommodation for the needs of people and other living things along the product life cycle. It means not only being uh, attentive to the needs of your customers and not, not adding lead into my toys, mm -hmm. but also thinking about how that product is being made and making sure that we don't have sweatshops producing these products. And these are the two challenges. I would agree with both premises. I, my only question is one of definition. That was my yeah. Opinion. This is what the, this is what companies are beginning, at least the major players, are beginning to say. Mm -hmm they think of and the objectives they're trying to pursue as they move forward with sustainability and mm -hmm. product and services. Yeah, we had kind of, we look at things in terms of degrees, but we do have some black and white criteria where we just don't, it's just not acceptable. Yeah. So it's a chemical that's on a restricted substance, yeah. or a sweatshop, or some other labor violation in China. Now, Yep, absolutely. A lot of companies are doing that. Now, I, I, I can do two things. This is noon. I'm ready to stop right here. I, or I've got a few more slides that talk about the product and serve, uh, what the seven lessons of sustainability are with regard to product and, 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 and uh, services pricing. Uh, so I can, you know, either way, I can do what you like. I want to just stop here as a process stop. <laughs>